Well, professionally, I'm a school teacher, educator, but I'm deeply involved in religion, and I'm a chief convener of the Islamic Center, and I'm a humble student of Sufism also. So that is my religious work. But having said that, I'm also involved in interfaith movement. So I'm the co-founder of Religion for Peace Myanmar, and now I'm trying to find some we out for all the crisis that is facing our country. Well, you have to be honest and impartial. Only then you will win the trust of the people that you're working for. instigations. In every conflict, there are two parties. And in every conflict, there are a lot of challenges also. But these challenges just are add up with people with vested interests who are trying to whip up tensions from both sides because of their own what, hidden agendas. Then things are difficult to find a way for the solution. Well, two things I should say. One was, I think, in 2013, we were having a peace conference in Sidigu, in the National Buddhist University, with the international religious leaders. At that time, there was a conflict in Rakhine, Sandwe State. People are scared, and some were being killed. So I was presenting my paper and Tidigu Siyado was presiding. So I stopped because I've been getting calls and spoke to the Siyado and said, here we are talking about peace, but there people are getting killed. Let us go to that area. So he agreed. And as you know, he had some, ex had some influence with the then government. So he contacted the government and within three days, we were in Tandwe at the ground zero area. And we did whatever we could to try to pacify and correct the situation there. That is the experience that I can never forget. Well, from religion, not only one religion, because Islam believes that truth is one, and the source of truth is also one. Call it Dhamma or a specific personification of ultimate reality, embodiment of absolute truth. You look at it from any angle, all you will see is that the truth is one. And if you don't believe in all those holy souls that appeared in the world, even for an ordinary Muslim, you are not a Muslim at all. So that clearly showed that truth is one, it comes from one source, so there are a lot of things to learn from every religion. So we need to be sincere and we need to understand other people's position and try to get some uh, wisdom from all these religions.